Hello, I'm Joe Wren. Abortion will remain legal in Indiana through at least the end of the year. The ban only allows abortion if the pregnant person's life or serious physical health is at risk. An Owen County judge ruled last month that the ban likely violates the Indiana Constitution and ordered the state not to enforce it. Attorney General Todd Rokita appealed that decision and asked the Indiana Supreme Court to bypass the Court of Appeals and take the case directly. The Supreme Court today agreed to do so, setting a hearing for January 12th. Indiana gas prices are up nearly 40 cents since last month. That decrease in oil supply from OPEC means that globally oil supply has started to decrease and that's pushing prices higher. In addition to you know, the existing um, pushes that we have seen as a result of the Russian invasion of Ukraine. He says as the economy moves out of COVID, people are beginning to spend more money contributing to inflation caused by supply decreases. Bloomington gas prices are averaging about $4.25, and it's expected to go up during the winter months. The Monroe County Commissioners are frustrated with the city's decision to pursue convention center expansion on its own. No agreement has been reached on how to manage the project, including whether to establish a capital improvement board or CIB. Now, at today's meeting, Commissioner Lee Jones says the city did not consider this the county's preference. Commissioners did invite the city to continue good faith negotiations. President of the Bloomington Chamber of Commerce, Eric Spoonmore, says after six years of negotiations, the city believes time is running out to expand the center. Now, a quick check of the forecast tonight. A chance of thunderstorms lows down to 46 degrees. In the five-day forecast, sun comes back tomorrow, highs in the lower 60s. We have more news on our website. It's all at WTIUnews.org.